one of the things I have on here, it, it, they kind of tie together. Um, we talked about Lamelo's impact on the Hornets, and then yes. uh, I want to, I want to talk about the impact he's had since he became a rookie, and then lead that into rookies of this year, uh, for Ooh. like rookie of the year debate and stuff like that. Yes. So. All right, Lamelo comes in, instantly changes the Hornets. I mean, a lot of times. You just need a guy to come in that's hyped up. Like, a guy that you know that everyone's watching. Because now, LaMelo comes into the NBA. Hornets take him. And now we know what the Hornet announcer's names is. Like, we know Del <laughs> Curry. Yeah. And uh, what was, I just had his name on my mind. Eric Collins, I think his name is. Now we know they're, they're the announcer's names. So obviously having such a hyped up prospect can change your entire franchise. Just because you have more eyes looking at you. And now we have people that actually want to play in Charlotte. Gordon Hayward plays there. Kelly Oubre signed there this year. Yeah. It After playing in Golden State, he still went to the Hornets. Or did he get traded? I don't know. One of the two. But either way, if he didn't, I think it was a sign-in trade. But even though, he still agreed to go to the Hornets. So obviously having a guy like LaMelo with so much hype, so much... For, like, so much potential. I mean, he won Rookie of the Year. The guy has height. The guy has tangibles. He has everything you need from a rookie. Obviously, he's still learning. He's still a learning curve. But even then, having a guy like this on your team is going to change your, the entire outlook of your franchise. Just because the media is there, the hype is there, and the people want to be there. That's what matters when you get a rookie with such a high name coming into the NBA. Yeah, man. Um... I'm I've been amazed by Lamelo, especially after like he almost beat out uh, my Bucks with uh, Giannis. But it's yeah. like um, that was crazy. What, that shot he hit. Yeah. What What's amazing to me though is like he's only like 20 years old and he's yes. already on the MVP ladder. Now he's probably yeah. not gonna win MVP this year, but or anytime soon. I I was gonna say like I don't think he'll win it this year. Uh, and I don't know what next year will bring, but even I would it, say, I was gonna say maybe even in like, oh, go, 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 ahead, go sorry. Go. Um, I, I was just gonna say like even if he, he even if he doesn't win it this year, if he wins it next year, which again he probably might not, but uh, if he did happen to win it next year, that's yet another record that Lamelo is breaking because the youngest, uh, the youngest MVP right now is uh, Derrick Rose. Yeah. Who is uh who is like twenty two and something like two hundred and eleven days I think yeah um and then you have uh Lamelo Lamelo would beat him out by a whole year because he'd be twenty one yeah. and then um and his birthday is like in August so he'd beat him out by literally like a whole year and then the year after that. Um, he'd like barely miss it because he'd be like yeah. he'd be like twenty two and like two hundred and forty days or something like that, because usually it's like announced at like the end of the season, and mm -hmm. the the season now with like the NBA rescheduling, uh, with um the twenty twenty season and everything throwing everything off, is like uh season ends around like April fifteenth stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. It's weird because it's like, can he do it? Of course he can do it. He can do it because he, he, he just has that. He could do yeah. it. But the thing is, is will the record keep up? Because the only player we've ever seen win an MVP on a bad team is Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. So record obviously matters. His stats are going to matter. Can you keep up with the league's best? Can you keep up with Curry? Can you keep up with this year, John Morant? Can you keep up with Kevin Durant? It's, man, it's... It's a difficult award to win. But can he do it? I think he can. I think he can, but it's going to take a lot. Yeah, I saw I saw a poll on Instagram uh, literally this morning before we hopped on, and it was a poll saying who who deserves to be uh, an all-star uh, more, and it was between John Morant and LaMelo. And I yeah. voted LaMelo, and I was surprised to see that the majority had voted Ja Morant. And it wasn't even by a little bit. It was like a blowout. A lot, right? It was yeah. like 70 to 30% Ja Morant. And I was like, 
why? Like, I, I get Ja Morant is, like, crazy, but so is LaMelo. Like, why is it so one-sided yeah. is my question. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's because he's been in the league longer. So a lot of people know more, a lot of people respect him more. LaMelo, you got to remember, he's still getting cyberbullied by people who don't believe in him. <laughs> so, yeah. like, it's, a lot of people just hate seeing him, so they don't appreciate him. Ja Morant, I don't know anyone that doesn't like Ja Morant, unless he just beats your favorite team. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone that doesn't like John Morant. So I, I guess that's what's con contributing to it. Yeah. And that he's just been in the league longer. I mean, either way, they could both still easily make the All-Star game. They're both separate conferences. They're not affecting each other's odds. Yeah. So I, I do believe LaMelo, he can make the All-Star game this year. He's playing for it. He can make it. And honestly, well, now being in the East, it'll, it will be harder to win an All-Star vote. Just because it's so loaded now. And especially, recency bias is a huge thing in all-star voting, if you haven't noticed. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you think Draymond Green got into the all-star game? A few times, not just once. Yeah. Because he won championships. And, I mean, Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them wins and gets into the all-star game just because they were on that championship team. It's, it's really weird how the all-star game can work. But, I mean, if Nikola Vucevic got into the all-star game, Averaging 20 points and, like, nine rebounds, anyone in the East can make it. Speaking realistically, anyone in the East can make it. And maybe Cole Anthony's taking his... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs>